Genetics by Mr. Drollinger. Frogs, humans, and plants are all examples of organisms. One thing that these organisms have in common is DNA. All organisms have deoxyribonucleic acid in the nucleus of their cells. DNA is long strands of genetic code that make chromosomes in plants and animals. Humans have 46 chromosomes in every body cell. Genes are tiny pieces of DNA that are instructions for specific traits. Traits are things that you inherit from your parents. Some traits in humans are hair color, eye color, and having freckles or not. Through sexual reproduction, you inherited a set of traits. During sexual reproduction, a sperm cell from your father and an egg cell from your mother came together. The sperm and the egg were carrying a half set of DNA. Once combined, a unique new set of DNA was created, making you look like you. Scientists use a pair of letters to define the genes in your body. For example, a capital letter T is used to represent a gene for rolling your tongue and it is called a dominant gene. A lowercase letter T is used for a gene that cannot roll their tongue and it is called recessive. The way these letters combine make your genes. For example, if you inherited a capital T from your father and a capital T from your mother, your genes for rolling your tongue would be capital T, capital T, and you could roll your tongue. If you got a lowercase t from your father and a lowercase t from your mother, your genes for rolling your tongue would be lowercase t, lowercase t, and you could not roll your tongue. Sometimes you can inherit a mix of dominant and recessive genes. Your genes could be capital lower or lowercase capital T. In this case, you would still be able to roll your tongue because you inherited a dominant gene. As long as a dominant gene is present, that is the gene that will show on your body. Every organism has DNA and genes. So the next time you look at a frog, look for its traits and think, what did his or her parents look like?